How do you doodle? More importantly, how do you start a doodle? After you've collected your favorite pens and other assorted utensils and instruments of creation, this question will be looking you square in the face. Do I start with a square or a circle? Or a series of small triangles? Do I start in the middle or the edge of the paper? Some loop-de-loops, maybe? Today I started with a few squiggles that I did with my eyes closed. I might have peeked, though. Yeah, I peeked. But it doesn't matter. The fact that I started the doodle is what counts. As Rod Stewart says, the first cut is the deepest. Only in this case, the cut is a line, and the deepness is um, irrelevant. Yeah. Once you've got something on the paper, it's relatively smooth sailing from there on. You just keep adding more. And then you add more after that. Just lines. Do it. Like this. Sometimes you won't feel good about the lines you've made. That's okay. You've got two options. Work with it and keep going. Or start a new doodle. I recommend that you should work with it whenever possible. I do, however, recognize that uh, there are situations where the doodle is irreconcilable and nothing good can come of it. This happens to me more than I care to admit, actually, so don't feel bad if it happens to you. Um, if you do give up the doodle, as it, as it were, Please start another one. Don't just give up completely and stop doodling. Um, but uh, at some point during this doodle, uh, I showed my progress to my buddy Dave. He pointed out that if uh, I added some eyes and tentacles and suction cups, that uh, this could look like some sort of sea monster. So I did that to some extent. And then, to some extent, it began to look like a sea monster. If you look at it right, that is. Mm -hmm. um, here you can see me adding the tentacly um, stuff, and uh, I don't know, it was kind of fun. I like it. Um, also, for the first time, as you'll see in a minute here, I started to use a uh, a pencil to do some shading, uh, to add a little bit of depth to it. I've never really done this before, but I always kind of wanted to. I really like how it turned out. In some of my previous videos, I asked for advice on how to avoid smudging, and uh, you guys told me to put a piece of paper under my hand, and I did that, and it worked swimmingly. So thanks for that advice. So. Um, here you have this sea monster thing. If you have any questions or comments or uh, anything like that, please post them below. Um, before you ask, I used Figma Micron pens. I'll also put it in the de description. Thanks for watching.